an buka ce al'umar musulmi da su dage wajen yin addu'o'i ga jiha da ma kasa baki daya wasu da karurun dinar sojan kasar nan sun kai samami babban ofishin hukumar Hizba ta jihar Jigawa da ke birnin Dutse su sun tallafa yara na majalisar dinkin duniya ya ce yan Najeriya miliyan 47 ne ke bayan gari a fili ko a makewayi mar inganci sauran sassan duniya kuma an kori wasu sarakunan gargajiya daga mulki a kasar Chadi Assalamu alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu barkamu da kasancewa da ku cikin labaran duniya daga sashin labari da al'umar kullum na ta ce talabijin ta rahma ta fatan an sharu lafiya suna nafiya ya dauki da cikin kullun labaran a daidai wannan lokaci an buga shi al'umar musulmi da su dage wajen yin addu'o'i ga jiha da ma kasa baki daya gabaci biyar da dinin muslima da kula da tarbiyar yara tana na Khadija malama Fatima da Sallah na Bulis si ba ko MFR ce ta bayyana hakan a wajen tare rufe tafsir Al-Qur'ani mai girma da aka gudanar cikin watan azmina wannan shekara malama da Sallah da ta yi dogon bayani game da muhimmancin da ke tattara da yin addu'a ta kuma buga ci shugabanni da su kasance masu ruke amana tare da samar da abubuwan da za su taimaka wa al'umar da suke jagoranta Aran sokan na bana wanda aka gudanar da Hatimar Al-Qur'ani mai girma an kwashe kimanin kwanaki 25 ana gudanar da shi kashe malama ta sallata ta gudanar da addu'o'i na musamman ga kasa da ma duniya baki daya Gaban kasa Muhammad Buhari da sauran shugabannin kasashen duniya suna can a kasa mai tsarki domin halartar taron kungiyar hadin kan kasashen musulmi OIC Karo na 14 Kabanan para taran sai da shugaban kasa Muhammad Bahari da yan tawagarsa suka gabatar da umara a birni mai sarki. Taron wanda sarkin Saudi Arabia bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud ne mai masokin baki zai fara ne da misalin karfe 12 na dare. Wadanda suka yi wa shugaban kasa Bahari rakiya sun haddar da gwamnonin jihar Osun, Niger da kuma jihar Jigawa. Ana sarin shugaban kasa Muhammad Bahari zai gana da wasu shugabannin kasashen duniya kafin ya dawo gida Najeriya a ranar Lahadi. Gwamnatin jihar Jigawa wato gwamnatin jihar Kaduna na san yar fa'i ya bayyana cewa an zabi Femi Baja Biamila a matsayin wanda zai kasance kakakin majalisa ta tara saboda korewar sa a siyasa musamman idan akai duba da zuwa bangarorin majalisar dokoki. Akwai wani rudani kan cewa Bola Tinubu shine ya fito da Femi a matsayin dan takarar kakakin majalisa amma gaskiyar lamarin shine shugaban kasa Muhammad Bahari ne da kansa ya fito da shi a matsayin dan takarar saboda yajircewar sa da ƙwarewar sa a harkokin na majalisa wasu ga cikin takarorin wato gwamnonin sun so kawo wasu kace na ce akan lamarin sai dai wannan abu san bai tasiri ba saboda duk yadda mutun zai yi sai ya nemi wanda zai samu sokin aiki da shi hukumar ya ƙi da fitocin miya gunkwayoyi ta ƙasa wato NDLA Rashin Jihar Anambra ta yi nasarar cafke Chimezi Okoye wani hasabibin mai fitocin miya gunkwayoyi a auka babban birnin jihar kakakin hukumar mai suna Charles Odigi Eposa shine ya bada wannan sanarwa Eposa ya ce Okoye wanda aka fi sani da Don ya shigo hannun ne a shiyar Itale a auka ya ce an kama wannan mutum ne a ranar 25 ga watan mayu dauke da garin koken da kuma kilo uku na tabar wiwi a gidansa dake auka a wani labarin makamancin wannan kuma hukumar NDLA Erection Jihar Kaduna ta cafke kwayar Ramadol a kasuwar Shagumi dake Kaduna kwayar da an kiyasta cewa kudinta ya kai naira miliyan 45 komandan hukumar a Jihar Kaduna Balafage ya ce kwayar ta Tramadol wacce ta kai adadin naira 950 an shigo da ita garin ne daga Onishan jihar Anambra hukumar Hana Almundahana da yi wata tallan azikin kasa zagon kasa ta EFCC ta gurfanar da ma'aikaciyar cibiyar gudanar da jarabawar shigar makarantun gaba da secondary wato jam Philomea Chizi wacce ta yi ikirarin cewa wata macijiya 
ta hade ya fuda dan maikatar dake hannunta watan fabrairin shekara 2018 ne cizi ta bayyana hukumar cewa wata macijiya ta hade ya naira miliyan 36 na cibiyar jam shiyar makodi na jihar Benue an gurfanar da ita a ranar Juma'a 31 ga watan Mayu a babban kotun birnin tarayya dake ungwar mai tama Abuja tare da wasu mutane biyar Asusin tallafa ya rana majalisar dinkin duniya ya ce in Najeriya miliyan 47 ne wato kashi 24 cikin 100 ke bayan gari a fili ko a makewayi mara inganci a binciken da ta gudanar a shekara 2018 in sabta bayyana haka ne a lokacin taron manema labarai da aka gudanar a jihar Kano kan batun tsaftan mahalli ta hanyar yaki da bayan gari a fili dangane da wannan lamarin mataimakin director bincike da sa ido na maikatar kula da mahalli na jihar na Abuja Watu Hassan Abu Bakar ya ce wannan dabi a ce mara kyau wadda to amali da miya gunkwayo wike haifarwa kuma ma'aikatan na hukunta duk wanda aka samu yana aikata hakan shi ma a nasa bayanin jami'in tsafta na ma'aikatar kula da mahalli Abuja Simon Ajuyesi ya ce suna fuskantar karancin baddaki na jama'a a birnin tarayya Abuja Dr. Lawal Musa Tahir wani likita na sashen Hausa ya yada shi wato aka hira da shi dangane da batun ya ce ba haya a fili na kan gaba wajen yaduwar tututtuka kamar a mai da gudawa da zaben typhoid shiwan hanta da sauran su wacin tarayya ta sanar da shirin kokarin ta danganin ta kawo karshen bayan gari a fili zuwa shekara ta 2025 wasu da karar da dinar sojan kasar nan sun kai samame babban ofishin hukumar Hizba ta jihar Jigawa dake garin Dutse da nufin kwato wasu dan bun kwala bangiya da jami'an hukumar suka kwace a wasu gidajen shan barasa dake garin na Dutse babban komandan Hizba na jihar Jigawa Malam Ibrahim Dairo garki ne ya sanar da haka a ranar waro wato a garin Dutse inda yake jami'an Hizba sun daki layin kurin sojojin Malam garki ya ce samun labarin hakan ke da wuya yayi gaggawar tuntubar shugaban hukumar tsaron sintiri ta DSS dake dutse da kuma commissioner yan sandan jahar wadanda suka aika da jami'an su zuwa ofishin Hizbar da haka sojojin suka juya ba tare da daukar komai ba da majiyar mu ta tuntubi komandan operation salama dake garin dutse sakan laftanar MI Ikemba game da batun sai ya ce shari aka yi wa dakarun sojojin a ce wasa babu wani ko soja da ya je ofishin Hizbar domin karba kwala bangiya shi ma commissioner yan sandan jihar Balaza na sanci ya bayyana cewa sojojin ba su shiga ofishin Hizba ba kawai dai suna aikin sintiri ne a yankin amma ba su taba kowa ba kuma ba su dauki komai ba gwamnatin jihar Zamfara Bella Matawalli ya sanar da cewa nan ba da jimawa ba jihar sa za ta fara noman kwakwar manja gwamnatin ya bada wannan sanarwa ne ga manema labarai na Alhamis a gusar babban birnin jihar inda yake gwamnatin sa za ta mai da hankali akan harkokin noma kana za ta bada kulawa ta musamman kan noman kwakwar manja a baka harkokin noma a jihar su na daga cikin kudurorin sa domin samar da wadatar kayayyakin gona ya kasancewa jibi a gare su na su sanya makuran kudade domin farfado da harkokin noma a jihar su misal akari da daidaicewar lamarin saboda da kicin yan bindiga da yasa jihar a gaba gwamnatin za ta farfado da aikin bakalauri musamman domin noman rani a dalilin yin wannan zai samar da wadatar abinci tsawon shekara ba tare da yankewa ba kazalika gwamnatin ya karare cewa za su fito da tsarin samar da lantarki saboda manyan kamfanoni inji gwamnatin gwamnatin wanda ya sanya dokar ta baki kamfanin ilimi inda ya sheda zamfarawa cewa zai iya bakin kokarin sa wajen ganin cewa jihar su fata kasance cikin jerin jihohin da ke fama da matsalar samar da ingantaccen ilimi ba daga jihar Kebi kuma gwamnatin jihar Kebi Abubakar Bagudu ya ce jihar sa ta bi son jihohin da ke albarkatun man fitar a kasar nan gwamnatin ya kara da cewa yanzu haka sun hada kai da wani babban kamfani na kasar Jamus domin samar da abubuwa na mura rayuwa haka zalika wato kwanan nan za su kaddamar da kamfanin sarrafa tumatur da kamfanin sarrafa shinkafa a jihar ta Kebi yankin arewacin kasar nan dai shi ma yanzu ya shiga cikin jerin yankunan da ake samar da dan yamman Peter a nahiyar Afirka inda yanzu haka aka hako dan yamman Peter a wani bangare na jihar Borno da kuma jihar Bauchi shigar jihar Kebbin jerin jihohin da za a dinga harkar dan yamman ba karamin tasiri zai yi wurin bunkasa tattalin arzikin yankin arewacin Najeriya ba 
Sabon gwamnatin jihar Boci Abdul Qadir Bala Muhammad ya ba yadda umarnin biyan albashin ma'aikatan jihar ba tare da bata lokaci ba. Hakakin gwamnatin Muktar Muhammad gida da ne ya bayyana haka a ranar Juma'a inda yace gwamnatin ya bada umarnin a gaggauta biyan albashin da rage ma ma'aika tare da dadi. Haka zalika sanar wata ƙara da umartar ofishin akan tajanar da ya tabbatar da biyan ma'aikatan albashin su daga ranar Juma'a zuwa ranar litinin uku ga watannan na yuni. Musamman duba da karatuwar bikin sallah karama sai dai sabon gwamnatin ya umarci kada a biya ma'aikatan da sofuwar gwamnatin jiha ta dauka daga aiki a watan Aprilu da watan Mayu sa'annan ya bada tabbacin gwamnatin sa ba za ta yi wasa da haƙƙokin ma'aikata ba da karshe sabon gwamnatin ya yi kira ga ma'aikatan da su kasance masu nuna jajircewa da kwazo a bakin aikin su don tabbatar da an samar da ingantaccen tsari na aikin gwamnati a jihar ta Bauchi daga jihar Borno kuma gwamna baban gida zulum na jihar ta Borno yayi umarnin biyan albashi da ba su sukan albashi da fansho na ma'aikatan gwamnati da aka tantance da wadanda ba tantance ba kafin bikin karamar sallah gwamnati ya bada umarnin ne a lokacin da shugaban kungiyar kwara gobula ma abiso ya jagoranci sauran mambobin kungiyar a ziyarar da suka kai mishi a gidan gwamnati a Maiduguri babban birnin jihar ta Borno fiye da shekaru uku da suka gabata Wahon gwamnatin jihar Kashim Shatima ya gabatar da tsarin tantance ma'aikatan gwamnati wanda yayi sanadiyar tsaye da albashin dubban ma'aikatan gwamnati wanda kuma mutum da Mr. Bako ke jagoranta ke dauke da alhakin hakan to mun sanya farin ciki a fuskokin ma'aikata da kuma yan fanshin da lamarin ya shafa sulum ya umarci suka tarorin ma'aikatu da shugabannin hukumomin gwamnati da su yi gaggawar hada jerin sunayen ma'aikatan su wadan da lamarin ya shafa a kawo teburin sa kafin rana uku ga watan yuli ta shekara ta 2019 to mun sa hannu da kuma biya kafin bikin sallah mai zuwa biyo bayan tsuwar kama aiki da gwamnatin jihar Plateau Simon Lalon yayi na ci gaba da shugabancin jihar Karo na biyu Hafsa Al'umar jihar sun bayyana fatar samun sauyi masu inganci da za su kyauta ta rayuwar su babban batu da yafi dauke hankalin mutanen Plateau shine Batun baiwa matasa aiki na yi domin dogaro da kansu sai batun ilimi da inganta karatu ta yadda matasa ba za su dogara da ayyukan gwamnati ba su iya kafa sana'o'i domin taimakawa kawunan su kuma hakan zai sa a samu sokin tashi tashin hankula a jihar shi ko gwamnatin jihar Plateau a hirarsa da manema labare a kwanakin baya yayi bayani akan abubuwan da zai fuskanta a mulkin sa Karo na biyu ta suka hada da biyan albashin ma'aikata da samar da tsaro ga al'umar jihar shi ma gwamnatin jihar Jiga Muhammad Badar Abubakar wanda ma abokin jihar Plateau ne ya ce yana da yakinin san gwamna Samuel Lalon zai samar da soye soye masu inganci a jihar to hanzu dai muna batun da ya shafi jihohi inda sabon gwamnatin jihar Oyo ya haramta kungiyar aikace aikacen kungiyar direbobi na kasa NRT da Blue Ration jihar akan ya biyo bayan ta barbarewa tsaro da ya fuskai faru sakamakon rikice rikice da ya barke tsakanin bangarori bi na kungiyar a wasu ungwani a ibadan babban birnin jahar babban dogarin gwamna Mr BC Ilaka ya shaida mani malabare cewa ofishin gwamnatin ta haramta dukkan ayyukan kungiyar a jahar Ilaka ya ce an dauki matakin ne bayan ganawa da wasu wato masu ruwa da tsaki a fannin da suka hada da shugabannin hukumomin tsaro a jahar da jami'an gwamnati Ilaka ya bukaci al'umar jihar da su gaba da gudanar da harkokin su kamar yadda suka saba. Labaran na zo muku ne daga sashin labarai da al'umar da kullum na tace talabijin ta Rahama wanda ke kallo a Star Times ta shame lamba 177 kwa furanar na adon na Najeriya wato Naikom Sad. Ko da babbi biya shirye-shiryen mu a hanyoyin sadarwa na zamani da suka dadda Facebook, Twitter, Instagram da YouTube duk a Rahama Talabijin. Labaran zai dora bayan mun karbi wannan sako a dakace mu.
kuma sukalan barka mu da dawa yanzu kuma labaran zai dora inda zamu leka sauran sassan duniya an kori wasu sarakunan gargajiya daga mulki a kasar Chadi bayanin hakan yana kunshe ne a cikin wata takarda da ministan harkokin cikin gida da kula da kananan hukumomi ya sanya wa hannu takaddar ta farko minista Muhammad Abali Salah ya kawo karshen ayyukan wasu sarakunan gargajiya na gaba shin kasar inda a takarda ta bi ne kuma aka dakatar da sarkin Udai wadannan matakai na dakatarwa sun biyo bayan wasu rigingimu da suka faru tsakanin wasu kabilu na kasar da suka yi sanadiyar mutuwar mutane kusan 40 wadannan rigingimu sun faru ne a yankunan Udai da Sila a gabashi da kuma kudu maso gaba shin kasar ta Chadi ana da gin sarakunan da aka tube da nuna rashin ladabi da halin ko in kula kan abin da ya faru minista Muhammad Abali wanda shine yasa hannu kan wannan hukunci ya ce ana kuma ci gaba da gano masu hannu a bangaren gwamnati da ma bangaren jami'an tsaron Udai da Sila Abali Salah ya kara da cewa sun gano sarakunan da aka tube daga mukaman su ba sa wani kokari wajen magance rigingimu a yankunan su Mahukuntan kasar Algeria sun saki dan fafudukar nan of Hajj bayan kwashi watanni uku a gidan kaso kamar yadda lauyan sai bayyana a jiya Juma'a an dai saki Hajj dan shekara 49 daga gidan kaso na lardin kudancin Gadiya a ranar Alhamis kamar yadda lauya Salah Duba ya bayyana a shafin Facebook sakin nasa dai na zuwa kwanaki bayan da abokin gwagwar mai sa Kamaluddin Fakr ya rasu a gidan kaso sakamakon yajin kincin abinci Lamarin da ya jawo zanga zanga da matu wato tofin alatsi ne na yan fafutuka dukkanin su dai fikir da haji an kama su a watan maris saboda sukar mahukunta ki hadda sojoji kamar yadda yan fafutuka suka bayyana tare da kasar Larabawa ta kafa komitin ne yan kwato wato wato kwata domin su gano farkon watan shawal wanda shine zai kawo kashar Ramadan da kuma fara idil fitir Minister Shara Kasar Sultan bin Said Albadi ya bayyana cewa kwamitin za ta gana a karkashin jagoro kwamitin zai gudanar da aikin sa ne kashin jagoranci tare da masu masu manyan jami'ai bayan sallar magariba a ranar litinin uku ga watan yuni 29 ga watan Ramadan a sashin shari'a na Abu Dhabi minister ya kuma yi kira ga kotunan shari'a a fadin kasar da su ne mi jinjirin watan sannan su sanar da kwamitin idan aka gani idan ba ga watan bawa shekarar rana talata hudu ga watan yuni za a yi azumin ramadana talatin idan kuma aka ga wata wa shekari hudu ga watan yuni zai zama ɗe ga watan shawar ranar karamar sallah kenan jami'a afghanistan sun ce wani harun kunar bakin wake na jiya juma'a ya auna wani jerin gwanan motocin sojojin kasashen waje a kabul ya kuma hallaka kalla fararen hulayen afghanistan hudu da kuma jikkata sojojin amurka guda hudu sojin Amurka sun tabbatar da kai wannan harin a babban birnin kasar Afghanistan kuma sun ce sojojin nasu sun sami kananan raunuka amma ba su bada wani cikakken bayani ba da dai kungiyar Taliban ta dauki alhakin kai harin bama baman wanda aka kai a wata babbar hanya da ake yawan zirga zirga da ta hada Kabul da wato da garin Jalalabad dake gabashin kasar sai dai kungiyar ta kara da cewa dan kunar bakin waken ya tada damara bomb ne a cikin motar da aka ajiye a kusa da wato gwammar jerin motoci sojojin kasar a wato ta Afghanistan ne magana da yawan ministan harkokin cikin gidan Afghanistan Nasrat Rahimi ya ce mutane da dama dake wucewa suna daga cikin wadanda suka samu raunuka Tsohon shugaban kasar Ukraine Petro Poroshenko ya karbe ikon jami'ar sa a jiya Juma'a abinda ke zuwa bayan da Poroshenko ke sake samun goyen baya na mambobin jami'ar sa watanni gabanin zaben yan jami'arsa ta kasar ta Ukraine a watan da ya gabata ne dai shugaban da ke samun goyen bayan kasashen Yamma ya shakaci a zaben shugaban kasa inda dan wasan koyo Zelensky ya kai shi kasa yayin da kasar ake ta wato ake tsaka ta fama da rikicin yan aware a gabashi haka batu na cikin hanci da rashawa ya addabi kasar ta Ukraine jami'ar Poroshenko dai ta sa himma ta da kokari na jan hankali na magoya baya dan ganin ta kai labari a zaben yan majalisar da za a yi rana 21 ga watan yuli Poroshenko dai shi ke da rinjaye a majalisar mai mambobi 450 
sai da zalansi na san mamaye a sabuwar tafiya da ya kwaso inda yake bayyana kansa a matsayin bawan al'umma a je juma'a ne masu ceto a birnin Budapest na kasar Hungary na ci gaba da aikin tsamon wani jirgin ruwan yawan shakatawa daga kasa kogin Dunube yayin da suke neman mutane 21 da har yanzu ba a gansu ba bayan jirgin ruwan yayi karo da wani ma keken jirgin ruwa na wasu yan yawan shakatawa a shekarar wato a ranar larabar da ta gabata sai da zuwa yanzu an tabbatar da mutuwar mutane bakwai ko da yake kuma da an ceto wasu mutanen bakwai dukkan mutanen da ke cikin jirgin baya ga mutane biyu sauran yan kasar Koriya ta kudu ne masu yawan shakatawa dan talabijin na kasar Hungary ya bada rahoton cewa dukkan mutane da aka ceto an salame su daga asibiti banda guda daya wanda ake jinjar sa saboda karyewar kashin har kakarin sa dan sandan kasar Hungary suna tsare da matukin jirgin ruwan mai suna Yuri Mazauna yan kunan ya maida doso da Tiliberi sun fada cikin mabiyacin halin rayuwa a sakamakon dokin rotar lantarki da ake fuskanta da kimanin kwanaki uku a salar da kamfanin hotel lantarkin Nigelek ya danganta da faduwar wasu karafunan tangarahu tsakanin birnin KB da birnin Gore Kade Ibrahim Musa Gongozo doke da wannan rahoto a rai injinan generator ya mamaye galiban manyan titunan birnin Yamai dai daga cikin buranan da suka fada cikin matsalar hotel lantarki a yan kwanakin nan inda wasu unguwannin ma aka shafe dan wuni guda ko da leba tare da samun kokkes na hotel lantarki ba a lokacin da ake fama da matsanancin zafi a kasar ta jamhuriyar Najar tun a fakon watan mayu ne da ya gabata director kamfanin Najar Lake Khalid Al Hassan ya sanarwa da al'umar Najar cewa lalacewar injin kamfanin na tashar Gode a watan Nuwambar Bara na daga cikin dalilan da suka haddasa karancin wutar lantarki a kasar la situation était due à une conjugaison de plusieurs facteurs le premier c'est la perte du groupe PC4 de Gudel director kamfanin ya kuma nuna damuwar sa ganin cewa a wannan wata na azumi mai alfarma lokaci ne na tsanin zafi da aka fi yawan amfani da wutar lantarki sosai a yayin da daya daga cikin injinan tashar goro ya daina aiki a dade lokacin da ake bukatar wutar sosai matsalar wutar lantarki wata dadaddiyar magana ce da kusan takan taso a kowace shekara idan yanayin zafi ya zagayo abin da yasa gwamnatin jamhuriyar Najar tunanin kafa tashoshin samar da wutar lantarki da hasken rana karshen rahoton kenan Ibrahim Musa Gongolo Yanzu kuma za mu je ga sashen masana yanayi tare da wakiliyan mu Naziha Ibrahim. Alahadin nan hasashen masana yanayi ya bayyana cewa Kano ci biyar hada hadar kasuwanci jefi jefin zafin rana za samu a mataki na 33 bisa ma'aunin sarshes. Ka tsina da yaddar Allah zafin rana da kadawar iska za samu a mataki na 34 bisa ma'aunin sarshes. Bauchi da yaddar Allah ruwan sama da tsawa za samu a mataki na 32 bisa ma'aunin sarshes. Yola da yaddar Allah ya yafi ruwan sama za samu a mataki na 34 bisa ma'aunin sarshes. Maidugurin jahar Borno zafin rana da kadawar iska za samu a mataki na 37 bisa ma'aunin nun sarshes ibadan da yaddar Allah ya yafi ruwan sama za a samu a mataki na 36 bisa ma'aunin sarshes fatakol da yaddar Allah ruwan sama da tsawa za a samu a mataki na 29 bisa ma'aunin sarshes Lagos wato Iko jefi jefin zafin rana za a samu a mataki na 31 bisa ma'aunin sarshes Zindar dake jamhuriyar Niger zafin rana da kadawar iska za a samu a mataki na 37 bisa ma'aunin sarshes Makka kasa mai tsarki jefi jefin zafin rana za a samu a mataki na 41 bisa ma'aunin Salishes. Naziha Ibrahim Okeda Hasasha. Kumaskala muda Hasasha masa na ina Naziha Ibrahim kakao kashala baran sirika pa misala maazamba ya metu musta kachikimi himba nkanu su. Ambuka chal umada su daagi wajanyang adu iga jaha da maga saba kidea shukabachi biya na na kadija maala matasala nabili siba kuchi tabaya na haka. Wajang tarang kamala suka karata al Qur'ani megirma da gudanar awana rana. Kusada karun duna soja jeng kasan na sun kaisa ma meba bang ofishung mkumar hizba ta jar jigawa deke garun du sehi. Asu sintalla pa ya rana majalisa dinkin dunia. Ya che enna jeri ya mulia arba inda bako yini ki pama watu da matala nantaba yengari a pili kwa amiki wa yimara inganchi. Kusoran sasan dunia kuma monsanada maskala mchewa. 
an kori wasu sarakunan gargajiya daga mulki a kasar Chadi labarin kenan a huta lafiya